A lot of you guys have been sending me this study that states that hydroxychloroquine is not effective for patients affected with COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And in this video, I'm gonna go over whether or not this study is a good study to make that conclusion. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Edgeman and I enjoy making these videos about common questions patients have about medications or any healthcare related topic. So make sure to subscribe for more content. Now to the rest of the video. I'll also put a link in the description below to the study so you guys can refer to it as we go over it. All right, let's get started. So this study is called No Evidence of Clinical Efficacy of Hydroxychloroquine in Patients Hospitalized for COVID-19 Infection. Now, right off the bat, based off the title, it already gives a bias towards the direction of hydroxychloroquine not being effective for treatment of COVID-19 or the coronavirus. That I don't like personally because I don't like when the study gives like the, the conclusion they met right off the bat because it gives the reader a sort a sense of bias that they're looking for reasons to prove what the title was saying. And that's not an objective way of going about analyzing a clinical trial. And also, I know there have been recently published studies about hydroxychloroquine treating coronavirus. I'll make those upcoming videos soon. As a spoiler to the rest of the video, this study was not a good study to make a conclusion about whether or not hydroxychloroquine is an effective medication for treatment of COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Now, that does not mean that hydroxychloroquine is a good treatment for COVID-19, but this study does not give us any conclusive evidence because of the reasons that I'll bring up soon. The first reason why this study is not a good study to make a conclusion about hydroxychloroquine against treating coronavirus or COVID-19 is that this study is not peer-reviewed. So what is a peer-reviewed study? So when someone publishes a study in a journal, other experts about the subject who are not involved in that study review that study and make sure it's credible about the claims it's making. So it's basically like a vetting process to make sure everything is correct and nothing just outlandishly stated. This study later may get peer reviewed, which might increase its credibility or it might decrease its credibility. Now the next reason, which is the biggest reason why this study cannot make a conclusion about hydroxychloroquine against treating coronavirus, is that the results are statistically insignificant. Now, I'm gonna get a little more technical with the stats about why statistically insignificant. So just bear with me, but once you guys understand how it works, you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. Looking at the results, specifically the confidence intervals and how they cross the value one, means that the results are statistically insignificant. Now, we won't get too deep into stats, but for categorical data, if the confidence intervals cross one, that means it's deemed in statistically insignificant because that confidence interval is basically stating that if we do the study again, we're 95% confident that we'll get the results between these two ranges or intervals. Now, if the interval crosses one for categorical data, that means either it's either on or off, for example. So that really doesn't tell us anything because if you're looking at data, you want to see that consistency with the results. So if the results with the confidence intervals are saying it might be better or it might be worse, doesn't really give us any valid information. And if you look at the results for all the confidence intervals, all of them cross one and they're all categorical data. So the results really don't tell us much about whether or not hydroxychloroquine is effective for treating against coronavirus or COVID-19. So those are my reasons why this study is not a good source to use to determine whether or not hydroxychloroquine is an effective treatment against coronavirus or COVID-19. Always make sure you guys' sources are credible and they have been vetted before making any recommendations or judgments about a medication or about any healthcare related topic. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learned something new. If you guys did, please give me a big thumbs up and make sure to comment any feedback or questions you guys have for me. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.